I think there's never been a better time to start a company. I think there's never been a better time to start a company in Philadelphia. Uh, so this is my second one. The first one was Boomi, and we started in 2000, and the second one is Guru, and we started in 2013. It's been amazing to watch the progression of the startup community. I would say in 2000, it basically didn't really exist, and I'd say now it's exciting and thriving and um, you know, a number of things are really, really cool about being in Philadelphia. For one thing, um, we have an awesome community in Philadelphia. It is an open community. And Philly Startup Leaders, which I'm super uh, happy to be a part of, is a manifestation of that community. If, you know, we have a listserv. If you write to the listserv and you ask for help, someone will write you back and offer help. They don't have to do that. They don't know you, but they do. And that, we've created this macro culture in Philadelphia of, if you reach out for help, I will help you and I think that is awesome and you don't see that everywhere. That's one of our unique advantages in Philadelphia. Um, we are an open community. We will uh, embrace you when you come. You know, you, If you move to Philadelphia and you're in startup world and you sign up for, our li for the PSL listserv and you say, hey, new to the area, you know, you can go back and search, or, but watch it next time it happens. You know, you'll get 20 replies, and, and it'll be people going, welcome to the city. Here's three or four things you might want to check out. If you ever want to meet for coffee, let me know. You know, it's just, it's just awesome. And if there's one thing I hear with PSL time, time and time again, people come up to me and they'll say, PSL helped me. And what they really mean there is the, the community of Philadelphia helped me with X, and I'm so appreciative. And X might have been finding talent. It might have been helping me get through a failure. It might have been helping me find some random skill set that I've never even heard of, but someone knows about and you know, offered up to help. I mean, it could be any number of things like that. And thank you. They're thanking me. I'm like, well, don't thank me. I have nothing to do with that. I just try to make sure we stay open, try to make sure we stay collaborative, because I think it's important. When you look at what makes a startup community possible, it, you know, it's, it's that, it's community and connections, it's access to capital, access to talent, and there's some geographic advantages or disadvantages. On the geographic one, um, if you're doing a B2B business, a business that sells to customers, the vast majority of your target market lives between Washington DC and Boston. So you have a proximity advantage to your customers doing a startup in Philadelphia, which is cool. I don't even talk about cost of living in that list, but you know, we have a, a golden age going on in Philadelphia right now. If you, I mean, if you look at what you can get for your dollar in Philadelphia, we have an amazing food scene. Y you can live in beautiful, you know, brownstone condos or homes, and, and you look at what you're paying for what you get, and it's just mind-blowing. Uh, it's a very walkable city, you know, so th there's sort of all of that. Um, you know, there's the access to talent thing, and everybody will say, well, there's less, you know, there's, <laughs> you know, whatever it is, there's less techno, there's less engineers uh, in Philadelphia, they're harder to find. And my answer to that is, they're, they're not harder to find. They're, they're hard to find anywhere. This, you know, and, and, and I'll agree maybe that they're, harder, they're hard to find for different reasons in Philly than they are in San Francisco, but they're hard to find anywhere. You know, if you, if you move your startup to San Francisco, the smartest technical minds in the world are there, for sure. It's the epicenter of all things startup, for sure. But they're working for your startup. They're working, they're working at Twitter or Facebook or Google. And when they do start looking, they're gonna have five job offers, not one, or they're gonna leave and start their own company. And so just because everybody's there does not give you um, a talent advantage. And you know, we, we uh, at Boomi, you know, our uh, engineering team by the time I left was about 30 people and it, they are smart, brilliant developers that can go toe to toe with anybody. And so, so I don't really accept too much that, uh, you know, that there's a talent problem. And then the other big one's funding, lack of funding, lack of funding. And, and there is a, a early, early stage capital um, funding challenge. And again, categorically, the bar is raised for funding, but the, the thing about early stage, funding is it is the round of capital where your investors do tend to want to be near you geographically. And it's really the only round where that's the case. So because your investors want to be near you geographically, they have to be near you. They have to be near where your startup is. And so there are less early stage investors in Philadelphia than there are in a couple of other cities. And so um, that one is true. But I would say that if you have an idea and you have a product and you're seeing early signs of traction, uh, you will raise money. You will. And there are more and more programs coming into Philadelphia. There are more and more dollars going into startups. And so it is a problem that can be um, overcome.